Okay, YouTube. So yesterday was a very eventful day. I think I made Mike Malak do heroin again unintentionally. And this also happened on the same day that Tate was banned on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook for no reason other than not fitting the agenda of the people that pull the strings there. So guys, there's a war happening. And I don't think a lot of people were talking about this because they're scared of getting canceled or they're scared of what will happen if they don't fit the agenda as well. And I simply don't give a fuck. So we're gonna talk about it. Modern man has a choice. On one hand, because of what happened yesterday with Mike Malak and what happened with Tate, this presents a very clear divide. There is a very, very clear battle of, I believe, good versus evil taking place in the world right now. And a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, it's not that deep, it's not that deep, whatever. I really think it is that deep. I'm not a religious person. I'm a very uh, spiritual person. Like I believe in God hundred percent. I pray daily, but I'm not Christian or Muslim or anything like that. Right. However, I think it would take an idiot to not understand that there is a battle of good versus evil happening. And there's a clear divide. Modern man has a choice right now that is going to affect how this world goes and what happens to all of us over the next however many years. So in this video, I want to talk about what is happening and how you as a man should be preparing for what is about to take place. So like I said, Tate got banned on all platforms yesterday, and uh, I unintentionally started a war with Mike Malak in which I utterly and absolutely destroyed him. So he came at the wrong guy and said the wrong things, and, and we handled that. You can't really go see it because he deleted all of his tweets, but we recorded it because I knew that would happen. We'll, we'll just scrub this up on the screen. You can read everything that happened. Basically, he subtweeted Tate. Uh, Tate is someone that I have a lot of respect for. I understand that there is a character that he is portraying, and that there is a character he's playing. When I was 19 years old, this guy made a two-minute video on Twitter challenging me to a fist fight because I said something disrespectful about him and his brother on Twitter. And I have the video. I'm not going to post it. However, with that being said, I've, I've talked to him a little bit. It's someone that I have respect for um, coming from nothing. I don't agree with the OnlyFans and the webcam stuff at all. I, I don't I don't like that. But coming from nothing, building a name for yourself and then spreading a positive message of masculinity and what it means to be a man and discipline and, and all these things. I think that's great. I have a lot of respect for that. So I saw Mike subtweeting this guy and first First off, Mike wrote his dick like in vlogs and podcasts that I have seen. I think he saw you sucking his dick for the last three weeks and he's like, you know what? This guy ain't so bad. He looks like me. He keeps gassing me up. I'll throw him a follow. Look at you now. Wow. Standing in the corner in Puerto Rico with a heart on. Cause Andrew Tate followed you. Cause Cobra Tate followed you. Man with tattoos followed you, you get a boner. That's why you really shaved is your head, bro. Is that why you're saying it? Because my head shaved? Is that why I'm you're saying it? I'm just curious why you're having such a visceral reaction. Because bro, listen. You love him. No. We, you don't even know who he is. We, we don't need you to because you talk enough for all three of us about him, man. Like, rode his dick. And then he gets banned and then wants to hop on another side. And be like, oh, I didn't agree with anything he said. He should get banned. That's bullshit. But in the first place, he said something along the lines of like, hey, women are not property and they're this and it's empowering and porn and this and whatever. I agree. Women are not property. I do think there are certain roles that men and women both fill, but I don't think women are property. I think we're equal. I think we have equal rights. I agree with that. However, I don't agree that a man who dated a girl who has more bodies than a Call of Duty lobby should be speaking upon things like that. So I simply quote tweeted it. I said what I said and it blew up. I got under his skin for obvious reasons. <laughs> then he started to come after me and was like, oh, so you don't think sex workers are worthy of respect or something like that. And I said, no, they're they're not. I, I, I genuinely don't think so. Okay. I know several girls who do OnlyFans. I live in Miami for crying out loud. Of course, I know girls that do. I can be friends with them. I can like them as people, but I can also at the same time not have respect for what they do and, and still think it's wrong. Okay. And that's the one of the problems here. But nonetheless, told him no. And and he said, hey, uh, your mom's probably proud of what a scumbag she raised. To which I responded, at your age, you were a heroin addict when you were my age. At my age, I bought my mom a house in Miami and I'm sure she's proud of me and the fact that I do not date girls with more bodies than a Call of Duty lobby. Mic drop. The point of what I'm saying, jokes aside, people like this are not banned. Cardi B and Lizzo and Mike Malak and whatever the fuck else is happening in pop culture is promoted. It is supported. It is pushed on kids. They're pushing the LGBT stuff on kids. They're pushing this on kids. Uh, all the TikTok trash. All this is being pushed on our youth and our young people and is supported. But someone like Tate comes along and says, hey, fuck that. This is how you be a man. This is what masculinity is about 
having honor, discipline, courage, sacrifice, all these things, and gets deleted for simply having an opinion that is contrary to popular belief or contrary to the agenda of the people that pull the strings. And that's what I want you to see. This video might get a strike on my YouTube channel. This video might get taken down. I don't know. But I'm going to speak my mind clearly because I want you as a modern man to understand there is a clear difference right now of what is happening in the world. There is a left and a right. And I don't mean politically. All politics is bullshit. It's us versus the government. It's not left versus right. But there is a right and a wrong and a good versus evil that is happening right now in these sort of things. I want you to wait until this generation of girls that have OnlyFans and sell their body online and do porn and all of this stuff that is supported and empowered. I want you to wait until they have children and their children see because the internet isn't going anywhere. It's going to be on the internet forever. Okay. You think Lana Rhodes is going to ever have her videos wiped off the internet? No shot. It'll always be there. I want you to wait till her kid who she doesn't even know who the father is. Wait till that kid grows up and sees what his mother did. I don't know how bad our culture is going to be then, but I'm telling you right now, this is a storm and this is a recipe for the destruction of our society. And I know it sounds absurd. You're probably like, oh, Luke, you're being so dramatic. Okay. Maybe I'm dramatic. Maybe uh, it's not that deep. Look what happened to Rome. Rome was the greatest civilization that had ever been created when they had morals and when they had discipline. As soon as they got a little bit out of hand and they started doing what we are currently doing in our society in the United States, they crumbled because they did not uphold the values in which that got them to where they were. And the United States is not doing that either. I can't speak on the East, but in Western society and the United States, we're not headed anywhere good. And I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. I don't think there is a recovery plan from this. I think it would be very, very wrong for us to sort of go down without fighting, right? If we choose right, I think we can salvage this. And I think there is a chance because a lot of people are waking up. A lot of kids in my generation are waking up to the system. What's actually happening, this, this matrix, as Tate called it, they're waking up. However, the abuse of this awful ideology and the OnlyFans stuff, and that's empowering and feminism and all these awful, awful movements that are being pushed and supported. It's very, very bad. It's very, very toxic for young people. It's very, very toxic for young men. And in a culture, and I can speak on this, I didn't have a father from age 12 to whatever. And even when I did have a father, he wasn't home or when he was home, he beat me. Um, I created the man I am today from my own self. Obviously, I have an amazing mother and, and I credit her a ton. She played both roles amazingly, but I didn't have a father to be like, hey, this is right. This is wrong. And if it wasn't for whatever, I, I call it God, if it wasn't for whatever that created me to be who I am and gave me the ability to like, think properly, I could be like that. If you don't have masculine leadership or role models in your life, you are so dangerous. That's why we have school shootings and we have public shootings and all this stuff is when you're a man, you have testosterone and you have uh, all this energy and you have ADD, like as they, they say for kids, when you have all these things and you don't know how to control it and you don't know how to wield it properly, you are a very, very dangerous person. Okay. A good man. And I, I've said this before, Jordan Peterson said this, a good man is not someone who is just harmless. A good man is a very dangerous man was capable of harnessing that and controlling that and using it for in the right ways. Okay. No honorable man is going to go shoot up a school. No honorable man is going to beat a woman or, or a child. No honorable man is going to put his girl on OnlyFans to try to make a quick buck. Okay. If you don't agree with that, that's fine. Don't watch my YouTube channel. Okay. However, if you do agree with that, we really, really need to put our foot down because they're obviously not happy with the narrative that Tate pushed. And if he's banned and he's gone, I don't think this is the last we hear of him. I, I think they've got a lot of plans in store, but if he's gone and it's very, very clear that any sort of ideology along those lines is going to be silenced, it's more important now than ever that we speak up about that. And by the way, the elites and the people that actually run the world, they don't like any of that stuff. They're just pushing it because they know it makes us weaker and it causes divide, which makes us easier to control. It's if you can't see that you, you're fucked either way. But the point being is I want you to really, really think about where your values lie and not give a fuck what other people think, especially in our society and our generation. Like I'm 22 years old. My generation is so, so just naive about things. And, and they look at like things like the and they're like, oh, it's a good idea. OnlyFans, it's a great idea. Like, it's just so wrong. I don't know if that's because I was raised very conservatively with a single mom in the country in Ohio or, or what, um, but I feel like a, an outcast and an outlier in this society. And I'm sure a lot of you that were watching this do as well. So guys, if you have similar ideology to me, I would really, really invite you. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I would really, really like to invite you to book a call uh, with this new community that we built called Way of the Man. It's exactly like this, like this sort of thought process and ideology 
strategy because men, and, and Tate said this as well, men in groups are very, very powerful. When we're all separated and we're all doing our own thing, we have less power. When we congregate together, we can actually make change and, and do things. So we're not like a revolution group, whatever, but we're essentially teaching people how to become the top 1% in all areas through discipline, sacrifice, doing things the right way, health, fitness, uh, mental stuff, uh, whatever. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But guys, I really don't have a like a call to action for this video or anything. I just wanted to get a message across. It's not cool to be like Mike Malak. Like that's not cool. And that's not something that should be idolized in our society. And it's not something that I think young people should look up to. I think it's cooler to be someone like Tate minus the OnlyFans and the webcam stuff of like, hey, I do things my way. I'm a man and I believe masculinity is, is correct. I believe there are gender roles, all these different things compared to I'm going to go date an OnlyFans girl and use her for clout and, and date a porn star and, and all of this stupidity. So I don't know. I rest my case. I don't want to ramble on and on and on. I don't know if this video will get banned. I don't know what will happen. But if you like this, please give us a thumb up. Uh, we'll get this out to as many people as we can. And again, check out Way of the Man in the description of this video if you guys are interested. But I'll see you next week, probably back on more business content. Uh, because as you know, it's more important now than ever for us to make money and especially make it remotely and independently of the government and, and other things. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.